and this is blending the headlines with an image to make it more smooth. So they're all good in their own way, but you need to choose which one would work best for you if you're using this style. Uh, now there's a big difference between serif and sans serif. Okay, first of all, here's the difference. So sans serifs uh, do not have these serifs. Okay, these red little things are called serifs, and this is serif font. Okay, this is like Times New Roman or things when you write a paper, you're going to use serif fonts, <clears throat> and then these are sans serif. So serifs look more professional, more elegant. So if you're looking for that kind of look, you want to go with that. But if you're looking for a simple, fun, uh, more loose font, then you want to go with a sans serif font with those with no uh, serifs. So uh, serif fonts force more white space because see the sans serifs? They go on the A and then your eye runs off the A because there's no stopping point. Whereas serifs, it kind of when you read it, these serifs um, kind of block in your eye or vision. Like it reads only the letter and it reads across. It's easier to read, um, but if you want more creativity and want things to be more layout, then maybe sans serif would be the way to go. Um, a line of text should not be more than 60 characters because it's hard to read. Remember I showed you guys those columns. It's easy to read um, with smaller columns instead of all the way across the page. So 60 characters would be a good judge of that. Um, and that. You want to avoid all caps. Some people think, oh, I want to do all caps all the time. Um, all caps is okay if it's just like maybe your name or something si like simple like a title. But if it's more than that, it's, let's say it's your description about yourself or your lyrics, you want to avoid like a lot of all caps. Because notice that all caps look like bricks right here. So if, you, if you block in these um, letters, you'll notice that it's really brick looking, right? Whereas if you block in... Um, the lowercase, notice that it has more shape. And you want the eye, when you look at it, to have more of a shape so um, it reads a little bit better. But if you're trying to make a statement, then maybe all caps if it's not a lot of text. But as you can see, it's um, you want to vary that. Um, so here's another three, three examples. Um, text is where the story is and displays it, where it describes the content and lure the reader to reading the text, okay? So it's just different ways of putting the text and parts. And you wanna think about this when you do your lyrics, because your lyrics are gonna look something like this, right? With uh, more text. So you gotta think, how am I gonna lay out my lyrics along with my content and photos? So these are different examples of ways they use headlines, pictures, and the content text. Uh, you can use text as shapes. Um, this is like a salt company, and their salt company, this is their logo, this uh, girl with the umbrella. And basically, their commercials and things is like it rains down salt. So in this picture, um, the text that's running down is actually supposed to be like salt or rain. But it's actually text, and people can like read the text and know more information about this product. So you can use text as shapes. Um, here's another example, like back in the day, uh, maybe an advertisement for a towel or an article about um, something like this. They put the t text in the shape. Here's a comb. This is pretty creative, right? This is for Vogue back in the day. Uh, see the text here? And then it gets combed out and then do the coarse hair over here. So that's pretty creative. And these are different uh, examples of... Uh, this is called Daily Bread. It's like a devotional, and it's, you can find that online if you Google search that. But um, they're just short devotions. But when they first came out with the devotion, they had the layout like this. It was very simple, basic, and blah. But then they changed it a little bit. So notice now that we have a column here instead of it all over the place. We have a column, things a little bit more uh, laid out better. Then they changed it again. Okay. Notice down here, this was the, one, the second one. And then here's a third one. Notice they, they bold it to make it easier to follow each place versus the second one. And that's the third one. And here's the fourth one. Remember we said columns is very useful to use. And here they use columns very effectively. Okay, And then they have the little verse section right here. So if you want to check it out. And then because it's a smaller column versus the previous one, it's easier to read. You, you want to read it faster. 
They also made the line a little bit better for separation right here. And this is the last one. So a little bit different from the previous one. Okay, so those are different ways they changed the layout. Okay.